I'm here on step 51 of Free Code Camp's New Responsive Web Design's third project, Learn CSS Colors by Building a Set of Colored Markers. So we just started um, putting in the linear gradient function, and so we have to set the first color argument to pure red. So just as a reminder, this is what we learned from step 50, and this is how linear gradients work. So we, have, we first have a direction, and then these arguments. So each of these um, words here, so gradient direction, color one, color two, and then whatever we could add here, um, they're all arguments that we can plug in to the linear gradient. Um, and so um, we already put in that direction, but now we have to put in a color as an argument. So all we, all we have to do is do a comma space, and then we can just put in a color. Um, and so we can put any sort of color, like a keyword, a hex value, RGB, or HSL, which we are all, um, we learned how to do all of those already. And so um, right here, all we're going to do is just set that red. So this is the color that it starts from. And so um, we're going to just use RGB and we set red to 255, everything else to zero. We don't see anything yet because we have to um, define a second color. So you need at least two colors, but you can have more. Um, and so now we're going to set the second one to green. So we're just going to do RGB, zero red, 255 green, and zero blue. And now you can see we have this gradient. And so that 90 degree um, right here, that vertical line right there, um, if this, if, uh, if it's like a unit circle, um, so 90 degrees up here. So if this is a circle, zero degrees here, 90 up here, so this is vertical. And so um, we have our two colors. Next, we can actually add a third color. So divide it into thirds, so we're just going to um, add blue. Zero red, zero green, 255 blue. There we go. Okay. And so we can actually um, choose, so let's say we want 90% uh, of the whole gradient to be red and everything else will be really be pushed to the side. Um, we can just add a 90% after that we define that color. So if we want to make red 75% of the entire thing, we just put a 75% after we define that red color and everything shifts as you can see. Okay, next we can change the whole orientation of um, our gradient if we change the degrees. So if we set this um, to 180 degrees instead of 90, you can see, oh, vertically, red is 75%. The start is at the top right here and pushes down to 75% down there. Okay, so next, um, we're going to set the color stop, that percentage of red to zero. Then for green, we're going to set that to 50%. And then for blue, we're going to do 100%. So that just means red is going to start at 0%, green is going to be in the middle at 50%, and blue is going to end at that 100% um, mark. So next, we're going to change these colors. That it's not just going to be pure red. We're going to uh, change it up a little bit. So um, 122 for red. We're going to do 74 for green and 14 for blue. And so it's hard to tell, but that color, it blends in a little bit better with that green color. So next, we're also going to change that green. So 245 red, 62 blue, uh, green. And then finally, we're going to have 113 blue. And whoa, it looks kind of red. It's not green anymore. That's because we changed that RGB. It's mostly red. So for the last one, we're going to change that blue color to uh, for red. And that what we originally had is blue to 162. Uh, and we'll have 27 for both green and blue. And now everything kind of, the gradient is less harsh and everything flows together a little bit more, but you can definitely still tell there's a gradient. For this last stop, uh, step, we're going to uh, start working on a linear gradient for green. And if you remember, we can't set the background color because if we're going to use a linear gradient, because um, it renders an image. And so we can only put an image as a background. We can't just put that as the color because an, an image is not a color.